Hey, what happened? Forensics team! What the hell is... What are these? What's... What's going on? What the? Is anyone here? Hey, let me out! I wouldn't take I wouldn't that take off, right, off now. right now. What? I'll be there I'll to be rescue there to you rescue shortly. shortly. Calm, Calm yourself, yourself and wait there. Wait there. Who's there? Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. This is Mitsuru, Mitsuru Kirijo. We, we met earlier. Uh... 
Oh, well, I appreciate the help. Just hurry! Rigel, huh? does happen from time to time. Famous businessmen end up advocating cultish nonsense in pursuit of their ambitions. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I am Mitsuru Kirijo, representing the Kirijo Group. It's nice to meet you.
she's the company rep? Really? Their proposal said the rep who's coming today would be the leader of this new unit, but... I thought it was supposed to be some hardcore armed response team, and she's leading it? Well, I guess it's better than some meathead. Shut up and hold your position. All right, start bringing them in. Roger, sir. sure it's okay for us to open these? The instructions said not to. It won't be a real investigation if we let them hamstring our procedures. Besides, I can't think of anything they could send us that we couldn't handle. Unless there's real monsters inside these things. <laughs> Huh. Are these rings? Hmm? Oh, uh, we're not sure yet. Hmm. Please step, Please step away from, from the door. From the door.
Where'd this ice come from? Are you all right? Uh, yeah. We did give you fair warning, but it seems to have gone unheeded. Then this happened because we touched that box? What is this thing? That ring gives its bearer an unstable form of pseudo-potential and allows anyone to experience the Dark Hour. The Dark Hour? The box itself seems to be a failed recreation of the Dark Hour. The effect radius is small, and it malfunctions when improperly handled. So you're saying, those stories in that document, that occult sounding stuff was actually for real? <laughs> Who's there? Chief! Hey, are you all right? What, he's my... This is a shadow. That it is. It's a monster that dwells in every person's heart. They usually can't manifest themselves this way, but it's quite common to see it happen during the Dark Hour. So the research to make this happen artificially, that's what Kirijo has been experimenting with. That did seem to be the extent of it, at the start. Kikuno, my things, please.
You're going to fight it? Stay back. This will all be over soon. Artemisia! Are you all right? Your fallen employee's life is in no danger, but he'll be very weak. Make sure he gets to a hospital. Should I make the arrangements? No, I should at least handle that. It is a public security matter. I'd be shocked too if I were them. Excuse me, but this place is off limits to all unauthorized personnel. Um, hey, what's going on here? It's all right, we had a little emergency. Uh, oh. That aside, halt all examination of the relics they brought in. We'll wait for further instructions from the Kirijo group. Huh? But you said... If there are any boxes that are closed, don't force them open. Not if you don't want to come face to face with monsters. I have to thank you for your help. And about the conference. I'll join in as well. It's been arranged so nothing you say would get through to the higher-ups. Are you saying you will reconsider your plans? I can't overlook anything as serious as this. I wouldn't be doing my job as public security if I did. But make no mistake, 
The things I saw today are proof of the sins the Kirijo group has committed. They can't be punished under the law, but now that they're known, atonement will be made in some shape or form. Indeed. I never intended anything less. <laughs> you really put one over on us this time. Hmm? Oh, well, there's no need to be coy. What happened today was no accident, was it? We'd never have believed the reports unless we saw it in person. That's why such a dangerous box had no lid. Am I wrong? There was no lid. That's not possible. That box was classified as risk level 3. It should have been securely fastened. Ah, <sighs> Kikuno. Us guys in public security have a reputation for being tough. But it seems like you guys are no slouches yourselves. Fighting is not our first option, but I'd be more reassured with you there. We have a general idea of where it was taken, the Inaba area, where there were reports of suspected shadow activity last year. I'll send you the precise location later. Sorry to call when you've just returned from a trip, but I'm relying on your assistance. He's only just returned and he's going directly to the location from the airport. Akihiko never changes. Will we be able to find Labrys? My sister? 
Hmm. Will we be able to save her? Isn't that what you really want to ask? Don't worry, as I mentioned to Akihiko, fighting Labrys is not our priority. The reason I formed this Shadow Operative team is to save lives. We will find her, whatever it takes, and bring her back. We can do this. Yes. I'm sorry to be so pessimistic. Those feelings you have for Labrys? You should tell her when you see her. I will.
Mitsuru-san, our activities are supposed to be undercover, correct? Yes. For undercover missions, it will be necessary to keep all personnel and vehicles from being noticed. Right. Mitsuru-san, may I say something that I've been meaning to say for a while now? No. Understood. All I told them was to give us a car with enough space. Uh, um, our contact has arrived. Oh my! This was not our designated meeting area, yet he has discovered us. Wanna know how I did it? We appreciate your cooperation, Detective Kurosawa. Long time no see, miss. And I guess, was it? Indeed. It has been a while. I shouldn't make you stand while we talk. Please, get in. Ah, oh, sorry. I haven't seen you in a while, so I had a lot to say. I found out quite a bit regarding the case you had me look into. First, I reviewed the report on the incidents from last year. One of the suspects mentioned the word persona. So what went on here last year? It's probably related, but I wasn't done there. Parts of this guy's testimony were even more outlandish. If you can take what's in the record at face value, it seems persona users can enter TVs within the Inaba region. TVs? What does that mean? Just what it sounds like. You physically stick your body into the screen and go inside. He claimed there was another world in the TV, and dropping people inside it was the method behind last year's murders. This all sounds rather absurd. I'm surprised it was included in the police report. I got in touch with the detective in charge at the time and said the same thing. Apparently, the report was filed by a young partner of his at the time. He'd entertained the wildest testimonies like this one. He sounds like quite the oddball. If this was what really went on, the police would have had no chance cracking it. But that Detective Dojima is one shrewd guy. Even with all the supernatural hocus-pocus surrounding the case, he caught the culprit. That's all I have for you right now. I should be going. I doubt either of us has time to reminisce over the old days. <laughs> it's funny though. I thought the fighting was over, but you guys surprise me every time I see you. 
Thank you very much, Officer Kurosawa. Uh, why don't we at least see you off? Well, that's all right. I've got my own car. I doubt my department would appreciate your tastes. <laughs> if I ever showed up for work in something like this, I'd be the talk of the force until the day I retired. Mitsuru-san, this could be bad. Our sense of social aptitude is in question. Ugh, can't deny that. Um, what should we do now? Uh, yes. First, we'll need to test the claim that Persona users can enter TVs. There is a discarded TV over there. If the environment does not matter, we can use it to test the phenomenon. Wait, I guess. Don't worry. I'm just going to touch it. Amazing! Interesting. It's exactly as the police report said. What's it like inside? Do you feel anything? Not particularly. No, wait a moment. It's the same as mine. It's hard to say definitively, since this is my first encounter with it, but I believe this reading is from a personality module. Does that mean our retrieval target is inside the TV? Huh. Sounds like fun. Is that... Akihiko? <laughs> you didn't show up at the rendezvous point, so I went looking and found you here. <laughs> this whole TV thing is pretty interesting. Akihiko, what on earth are you wearing? Just what were you doing overseas? Hmm? Well, didn't I tell you that I was on a training expedition? Don't tell me you came here from the airport like that. Does the concept of keeping a low profile mean nothing to you? Mitsuru-san, I believe we have lost the right to complain about that. Anyway, we can go inside from that TV, right? What are we waiting for? Still the same Akihiko. We don't know the situation inside yet, and we'll need a secure means of getting out. So what? If we want to get this Labrys back, someone has to go inside, right? Well, that's... Our target hijacked a plane to throw her into a TV in this town. If we sit on our hands, it's possible we'll be put in serious danger. We're different from how we used to be. We made the choice to fight shadows as professionals. That's why I traveled around the world and trained harder than ever. And now that something's actually come up, you're hesitating? We agreed to do this. I'm ready to stake my life on the mission. Oh, 
All right. Wait right here. I need to go make a phone call first. Okay, but make it quick. The other members will wait here in the car. Yeah. If we all barge in and something happens, we'll be devastated. Now that you mention it, at least one of us should be staying behind as well. I am not staying. <laughs> us three will be plenty. We'll end this in a flash. No problem. <laughs> The same as always. Although, huh? we have no idea what might be waiting for us on the other side. Don't get careless. Right. <clears throat> this situation... It brings back memories. <laughs> Ready! Why enter the TV? What's going on? Where am I? Is this inside the TV? Yasagami High School. I do recall that name from our map of Inaba. An existing high school has been completely recreated inside the TV? Wait, where are the others? Akihiko! I guess! I can't reach them through my persona either. This place is highly unusual. Hmm. 
Did I surprise you? I suppose my outfit is somewhat unusual. Oh, no. Why are you here? Um, well, I... What? Where is that coming from? What's going on? Hello! Hello! This is General Teddy, your benevolent dictator! And I, Rosette, am your commentator! It's time for the next round in the P1 Grand Prix! Are you ready to fight? P1 Grand Prix? Fight! Ugh! We have for Yuki-chan's opponent this time! Ooh! It's a mysterious, beautiful lady! <laughs> How unexpected! Uh, unexpected! Uh, 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 unexpe uh, une unex... Teddy? What's wrong? Hmm. Do you know that bear? Case 04, Unintended Intruder, Entering Elimination Process. What is that supposed to mean? Ugh. What's going on? You are showing up alone like this. What? It's no use trying to talk your way out of it. There's nothing to discuss. You don't even try to understand anyone anyway. If you want to wall yourself off from everyone, I'll be happy to end your lonely life here. Don't be so smug for long. Come, Konohana Sakuya! A persona? We won't be settling this peacefully, I see. In which case... To me, Artemisia.
Sona user. Fine, I still won't lose. Sorry, but I won't be defeated either. Finally! An irregularity has occurred. Multiple intruders detected. Emergency. Intruders are Persona users. Due to difficulties in elimination, they will be acknowledged as valid targets. Valid targets. Geez, you need to let me know if you want to get in on the fun! But this is a unique situation, and you're one hot mama! So I'll make an exception! Just keep putting on a good show in your next bout, too! Who are you? Why don't you take off that strange costume and show your face? Hey now, I don't think a lady walking around in a cat suit like yours can talk to me about my bear suit! Enough with the questions! Move on! <sighs> Is that costume thing the one who stole Labrys? If so, then what's the purpose of this bizarre tournament? Fine. I'll get a read on your location. What? Were they shadows? If they were, I don't sense any hostility from them. Were they just set dressing that thing in the costume prepared? In any case, it appears that apart from this girl here, none of those students were real.
How come you knew about that? About what? That was private. I never even told anyone at the inn about that. I can't believe someone I've never even met before knew. That noise I sensed earlier is gone. It seems to have been some kind of interference from the enemy. Come to think of it, that bear was egging us on. The interference must have been to ensure two total strangers would fight. General Teddy, was it? He looked comical enough, but he certainly put an elaborate scheme in motion. No! How could Teddy... You know the one in costume, I take it? Oh, I know him very well. He's usually not like this at all. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo. I've come here in search of a unique object. Why don't we start over? If you don't mind, I'd like to hear a little about yourself. Yes. Oh, my name's Yukiko Amagi. I'm sorry for losing my composure just now. So, Amagi, why did you come to this world? Hmm, where to start? So many strange things happened over the last year. A realm inside a TV, formed by people's thoughts. It sounds absurd, but that would explain the incongruity I sensed when I used my persona. We thought the case had been solved, but lately there's been another strange program on the air. My friends and I couldn't ignore that, so we came back here. Your friends? Are there others here besides yourself? Yes, I was with three other people, but we got separated when we entered. The one in costume and the girl who called herself Rosette are friends of ours, too. But they're acting so strangely. So this is not the way they generally behave, then? There's one more thing I'm curious about. Have you ever heard the name Labrys? Labrys? No, I don't think I've ever heard of that before. What is it? It's the thing I'm searching for. What makes it problematic is that I know nothing of its appearance. Honestly, I'm not sure it has anything to do with this disturbance. Though I can't write it off completely as irrelevant. Anyway, thank you for your cooperation. I understand the situation better now. We should stay together going forward. Whoa! Think again, ladies! Only the winner of each bout can go on! Rule number one in the Grand Prix! There's 
There's nothing here, but I can feel something. A wall, maybe? Wait, but Mitsuru-san could... Like I said, you're stuck there until the tournament's over. Only winners get to go. Come on, miss. You won. So it's time to bear roll forward to the next stage. Thank you, but I'll be all right. I fought shadows for an entire year, too. I can protect myself. I see. In that case, I'll press on and do my best to rescue your friends. If you see them, please tell them I'm all right and they shouldn't worry about me. You be careful, too, Mitsuru-san. All right, I'll pass that along. Not only do they tamper with our minds, they prevent us from leaving until the tournament is settled. It may not necessarily ruin friendships, but there's no way forward than to fight one another. What a loathsome trick. It seems the mastermind is intent on us fighting each other. Another dead end. was that? recognize the voice, perhaps one of Amagi's friends. I didn't ask to be born a machine. How come no one understands? What's the difference between normal people's hearts and mine? A machine? Is that Labrys? Labrys! Are you nearby? Answer me! Going by what she said, that had to have been Labrys. Sounds as if her heart has developed further than we thought.
I didn't ask to be born a machine. It pains me to hear that. We can't allow victims like her to be tormented by sins of the past, whether they're human or not. What in the... They're wearing the same uniforms as Amagi. I assume these are the friends she spoke of. Three new contestants. Myself, Akihiko, and Igus? On the other paw, a tournament's more exciting with more people in it. But getting back on track, allow me to introduce your next opponent. Huh? There's people besides us here? You're... Holy crap, she's smoking hot. The thing she's wearing doesn't hurt either. You were in that video just now. What was it they called you? Captain Ressentiment? How, how come you remember that stupid title and not my real name? I figures I need a knockout like this and she already knows about that. God, I wish I was dead! How do you like your opponent? Why are you making us fight? What benefit do you derive from this nonsense? So many questions! I just want you all to suffer! Isn't that exciting? Isn't that fun? That's what this is about? No. If Labyrinth is involved, there's more to it, isn't there? Enough jibba jabba! Hurry and start the fight! Look at your opponent! He's ready, see? Yeah, Teddy's right. I mean, you're the one who barged in here. <laughs> Man, who'd come to such a dangerous place without hesitating? You really are an ice queen. I bet you don't have many friends, huh? You talk as if you know me. Stop acting so calm and changing the subject. You seem like you don't know much about this world. 
So how do you plan to get out? Don't tell me you rushed in here with no escape plan. <sighs> oh man, seriously? <laughs> You're nuts. People like you who obsess over responsibility and put all the burden on yourselves, you annoy the hell out of me. It doesn't matter how others perceive me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Isn't that because you don't trust anyone? Supposedly an unexpected intruder. What's going on? What are you mumbling about? Well, let me ease your mind. I'll end everything for you. Let's do this, Jiraiya! Go, Yusuke Senpai! Beat up that shady lady! Let the fight begin! <sighs> I can see there'll be no talking sense with him like this. There's nothing for it then. Artemisia! Provoking us only to have us fight one another. And their method. Is it more like an illusion they're casting over us, rather than some sort of mind control? Still trying to figure everything out? Switch your brain off and enjoy the Grand Prix already! Sorry, but I'm not some savage who enjoys the suffering of others. And don't call me Miss. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. Kirijo? You've toyed with us, and I don't take that lightly. I'll make you pay for what you've done. You better be prepared for that. Kirijo! <laughs> You're the one who should be prepared! I'll never let you stop me! <laughs> I mentioned my name on purpose. He reacted as strongly to the name Kirijo as I thought he would. At first, I thought I'd stumbled into an irrelevant side incident, but evidently not. We were meant to come here. Ow! Ah, you're awake. Ah, 
my, my. Amagi reacted the same way. Were the things that the illusory me said that harsh? Oh, you bet. Wait, what? Illusory? And did you just say Amagi? You met Yukiko? Yes, before I came here. I was forced to fight her, quite against my will. the winner can move on, huh? I'm the only one who can feel this invisible wall thing, so I guess it's true. I'm glad you understand. I was worried you'd doubt me since I'm a complete stranger. Well, you didn't seem like someone who'd try and trick me. I mean, what's the point? I've lost now, so I can't go anywhere. Indeed. You're very pragmatic. Nah, after what I went through last year, I just got used to coming smack up against insane stuff in this world. And Yukiko, my friend you met? She believed in you. So I don't mind trusting you too. I see. I'd like your opinion on something. What do you think is the objective of this tournament? That General Teddy said it was all in fun, but I doubt it's anything so simple. I've been wondering the same thing, but I don't know. But you know, it might not just be Teddy behind it. I met this weird girl earlier. A weird girl? She was about my age, and she said she was the student council president. It's like she had no idea that she was inside the TV world. That doesn't seem very likely, does it? No, I doubt one could be unaware of such things. Hmm. It's possible that she didn't come here of her own will. This may be a school now, but it doesn't always look like this. When normal people who don't have personas come in here, the world changes to reflect what they're thinking of. It happened every time a victim was dumped into a TV last year. Maybe this time she's the victim. Even if she means well, she still could have a lot to do with the tournament. Girl, huh? What did this girl look like? Did anything about her stand out? Huh? No, not really. She wore the same uniform as the rest of us. A uniform? Thank you. I'm getting a clearer picture of what's going on. I'm sorry, but I can't stay in chat. I should be leaving now. Oh, uh, wait a sec. Um, can I ask you a favor? Hmm. Can you look after my other friends, too? It sucks, but I can't get to them from here. That Teddy's really not a bad guy, either. Sure, he eats my ice cream without asking and stuff, but... He's not the type of guy who'd get off on watching people hurt each other. There's got to be some other explanation. Don't worry. I was already thinking along similar lines. What we saw was an illusion. It may be that they're faced with the same situation. I'll save everyone who's been dragged into this, including your friends and this student council president. Thanks. Just hurry before someone else dies in here.
gonna sound pretty lame losing the fight and then making a lot of demands. Not so. Your concern for your friends in a situation like this. C'est magnifique. Man, what? I sensed it when speaking to Amagi too, but you all seem to have very strong wills. I promise to do what I can to help. There's no end to this. Kihiko and I guess they both seem to be okay. Can you hear me, I guess? Mitsuru san, I am relieved to finally hear from you. Is Akihiko san with you? No, we were separated, but I've confirmed his safety. I'm sure he won't be defeated that easily. Let's exchange information while we can. I saw, I saw that girl, that girl a moment, moment ago, ago, though I lost, though I lost sight of her when the invisible when walls blocked my path. I've been told she looks more human than you. Is that possible? Not only that, she was she almost was indistinguishable from a normal person. person. I, couldn't I couldn't believe it either. Yet I definitely, I definitely sensed, sensed a personality, personality module. module. I don't, I believe, I don't there's believe there's any mistake that she is Labrys. I see. Don't worry about meeting up for now. Under the present conditions, we'd only end up fighting amongst ourselves. Understood. I don't know how Labrys ties into this situation yet, but be careful. Hello? I lost her. The same voice from before. Labrys, is that you? Why are you laughing? What about this is funny? Who is she addressing? I don't want to fight him anymore! That reminds me. 
Hanamura said that the environments here are formed by the thoughts of those who enter this world. Could these be Labrys' innermost thoughts? Is that why everything about this place radiates her feelings? What do you think we are? Uh. She's not addressing anyone. These are her memories. I see. So that's what's going on. I'm finally beginning to see the relationship between this tournament and Labrys. What are you getting so sentimental for? The Grand Prix is not over yet! Then you intend to continue this meaningless farce. I'll decide what's meaningless or not! Bring out the next challenger! You! This is a problem. I didn't think we'd run into each other so soon. Is this another illusion? No. I can see that it isn't. Why are you here? I'll answer that question later. It would be best to say as little as possible for now. Seriously, such impatience handling the grunt work yourself like this. Isn't micromanaging like this the style of an incompetent leader? One who can't see the bigger picture? <sighs> the silent treatment, huh? That's fine. I understand perfectly. You don't believe in people. Not a single one. You have friends and allies, but believing in them is a different thing. I suspect you'll never break down that wall. Shall I say it for you? You're actually scared to. The notion of growing attached to something and losing it scares you so much that you'll share nothing truly important to you. Even if you want to believe in your friends, you can't. That's not true! Of course it is. 
Why not simply admit it? In truth, you have your hands full just expiating your family's sins. You don't need the added burden of others placing their lives in your hands. Isn't that how you really feel? No! There's no use continuing this. Not until I eliminate this irritating mirage. Am I getting through to you now? Yes. The same goes for me, I presume. It seems we were spellbound until the fight began, as we both suspected. They disrupted our communications to drive a wedge between us and make us fight. Though it's a mystery to me as to where it draws such personal slights for the illusions before us. I agree. There's no need to be cagey. I don't intend to dodge whatever questions you have. You were probably wondering three things when you saw me here. First, how did I enter this world? Second, what am I doing in Inaba? And third, if I came here looking for you, what are my true intentions? No wonder you've made a name for yourself as a detective. You're correct on all counts. The first answer is easy. You know now that I can use a persona, allowing me access to the TV world. As for the second, there's no great mystery why I would come to Inaba. I live here. You wouldn't happen to be acquainted with Amagi and Hanamura. You've met my senpai? Your friends. I gather that your comrades who fought alongside each other during the serial murder case last year. I assume you entered the TV together for the same reason they did and found yourself dragged into this mess as well. If so, I must apologize to you. No doubt you already know, but the object we seek has been brought to this world. It's most likely the cause of this disturbance. Whoever learned of this world's existence must have thought it would be useful in whatever their scheme. You apologizing to me? Um, are you so sure you can trust me? You have no guarantee that I'm telling the truth. And there's still the answer to your third question to consider. I haven't yet told you my true motives. Fair enough. But if you're friends with Amagi and Hanamura, I feel I can trust you. Their bonds with their friends are real. 
Perhaps I lied about that too. <laughs> but then why would you bring it up? No, you're no villain. That's what my intuition tells me. You aren't at all the person I thought you'd be. I'll take that as a compliment. The teddy who appeared on that monitor is not our friend. He's an imposter. You have proof of this? I found the real teddy. Our enemy can fog both our eyes and ears. It's possible they can make themselves look like someone else. I see. But I still don't know why they chose to take on Teddy's appearance. It might be to make you all suffer. If they led you to believe your friend betrayed you, it would make this all the more painful. There's some truth to that, but it seems too simple a motive to warrant this elaborate of a disturbance. Hmm. This feeling. Risei-san! Risei-san, can you hear me? Naoto-kun? So you ended up here too! I'm so glad! Ever since this weird fake Teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone! The others are fighting each other, too! It's alright. Just calm down and tell me where you are. I think it's the announcement room. It's kind of off, though. There are these invisible walls around and I can't get out. The fake Teddy was watching me until a moment ago, so I couldn't use my persona. You're in the announcement room now, yes? I'm headed straight there, so stay put. Huh? Wh who's that? Why can I hear your voice but not sense you? Mitsuru Kirijo. Wait, Kirijo? Are you that Kirijo? Yes, that's correct. The CEO? Not quite. I am the founding family's... You hired me for a commercial before! Oh, good! Um, thank you very much for your patronage! A commercial? Oh, yes! Um, I'm Risei Kuchikawa! I'm a classmate of the others you met, but I'm also kind of a starlet, and, um, oh, it's hard to explain. Risei-san, that can wait. There's no knowing when our adversary will return. Oh, um, all right. Kujikawa said that she was captured, but why would they treat her differently? I suspect it was to block communication. If we could speak freely as we just did, their whole scheme would collapse. Ah, so that's why Teddy and Risei-san were the hosts. What do you mean? The real Teddy has a similar power. That's why those two were taken separately. Not only that, but by acting as the two who had disappeared, the enemy thought it could portray them as traitors. 
Though it appears that Teddy managed to escape on his own somehow. How come I'm the only one fake Teddy is watching over personally? Sheesh. You have the most powerful investigative persona. They must have had to take greater pains with you. I think we're keeping this going too long. We've exchanged what we know already, so I'm gonna shut down the comms link. Be careful, you guys. We are responsible for this case. Rescuing the ones who've been dragged into it is part of our mission. Besides, she's another of your friends, isn't she? All the more reason for me to go save her. You're quite prepared for this. It would be unfair of me not to tell you everything. Please hear me out. The reason I came here was to... <laughs> You're a real straight arrow. You're very proud to be a detective, no? I can see it in your eyes. You would never sell out your beloved justice. If you've done nothing to be ashamed of, that makes us even. I haven't been entirely forthright with you either. Kirijo-san. <laughs> it seems I still have much to learn. Well then, I will once again entrust my friend's safety and the resolution of this case to you. In honor of the bond we are forming, Mitsuru Kirijo. I promise that I will not let you down. Are you... Kirijo-san? Kirijo? Hang tight, Miss President! We'll be okay now that help's arrived! Kirijo-san, this girl got dragged into this mess too! We have to help her before that general comes back! So you're Kujikawa. Sorry, but I'll need you to step back. Huh? We meet at last. Astounding. You really do look human. But you're not, are you, Labrys? She's not human. Isn't she a victim who got dropped inside the TV? Labrys, our records show that you were loaded with special equipment. Undoubtedly a function that affects thoughts and scrambles recognition. That's why we saw and heard illusions whenever we fought. It would also explain General Teddy's appearance, and those who met you believing you to be human. S special equipment? Labrys? W what are you talking about? I'm sure the reason why you captured two people with analytical personas wasn't just to keep them from interfering with your designs. 
I came to a realization when I noticed I was the only one who sensed that noise. An analytical persona's searches clash with your ability. They dispel illusions, so you needed to confine them. You feared that if they caught you off guard and used their persona's ability, this would happen. What was your motive, Labrys? Was it revenge in the end? I... I... I can understand why you'd hold a grudge. I caught glimpses of it on my way here. But your hatred should be centered on the Kirijo group. Why drag innocent students into your vendetta? Kirijo... group... No... I don't want to remember! Never again! Miss President! Kirijo san! She seems to be in a lot of pain! I don't know exactly what's going on here, but you can't push her any further! Miss President! Get back! Hurry! The injunction against harming humans has been removed? I see. No wonder she was sealed away. Is there no other choice but to fight? I won't let you do any more damage, Labrys. It's me you want. Shut up! Shut up! I... I didn't like that! I don't intend to turn a blind eye to the sins committed against you. That is why I must bring you back.
that was indeed the case, it'd make more sense for this to be a plan devised by Labrys, rather than an unknown party suddenly stealing her away. I can't imagine how much resentment such a small, artificial body could hold. A tragic mastermind, huh? Huh? Mastermind? You got it wrong, Kirijo-san! That girl's not- What? <laughs> Looks like you've saved me some time while I was out running errands! What? You're... What's going on? This is Labrys's interference pattern. Mm-hmm. That's, That's right. right. As thanks, thanks for, for cornering, cornering the real the one, one, I'll show you something. Another Labrys? Why are there two of her? I am a shadow. The true self. It's Miss President's shadow! <laughs> I'm taking the real one with me. I'll never let you catch me! What is she? You seem to know. First, tell me something. Why was she in so much pain? What's all this about Labrys and weapons? I'm sorry, but that's classified. It's not for civilian ears. Then I won't tell you anything about her! If you want to know what I know, you have to tell me what you know first. <laughs> Well, I suppose you're involved now. All right, her official name is Fifth Generation Anti-Shadow Suppression Weapon. Codenamed, Labrys. She is an android weapon created by the Kirijo group years ago. In order to use Persona abilities, she was given a heart. We couldn't let her run free. Just look at the trouble she's caused. We came to retrieve her and minimize any damages. So when she said she didn't want to remember, that's what that was about. <gasps> hey, why didn't you listen to what...
what she was trying to say. She said that she didn't want to remember, but you kept pushing your demands on her and making her feel bad. That's... You gave her a heart because you needed her to have one, and then kept treating her like that. No wonder she's in pain. Why are you siding with Labrys so much? I heard her voice a few times. It sounded like it was from her past. She said she was forced to fight when she didn't want to, that she was hurt and afraid. Someone to believe in, huh? She's Miss President's shadow. Kujikawa. The repressed desires you don't want to admit? Here, they take on a life of their own. So that's why. Then what's her ultimate goal? Why did she take Labrys? Shadows... They try to become real. It confronts the original with weaknesses to make them deny that the shadow's part of them. Also, it can take their place. I see. Then there's no time to lose. Do you think you can save her? The shadow doesn't disappear until the original person accepts it. Fujikawa, let me amend my earlier statement. I didn't come here just to minimize the damage. I came to save everyone. Will you trust me on that? <sighs> Make sure you listen to what Labrys wants to say this time, okay? I fully intend to. Speaking with you made me understand something important. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> it must be that smile of yours that catches your audience's heartstrings. Promise me then. Make sure you come back with her. Who are you?
It seems we're locked in. The rule against proceeding without fighting is still in effect. Uh, are you Kirijo-san by any chance? Risei got in touch with me. I am indeed Mitsuru Kirijo. As I recall, you were the sister com... Uh, no, your name was... Narukami. There doesn't seem to be anything scrambling our senses. Do you understand what I'm saying? Risa told me you were out to save Miss President. Labrys, her name was? That's right. But I must act swiftly. There's no noise here because our enemy thinks we'll be hesitant to fight in our right minds. Would you mind conceding? I don't want to drag you into this any further. I understand, but I can't do it like that. If the rules are still in effect, my friends are still trapped. They still need someone to rescue them. I've fought battles I didn't want and taken on a lot of responsibilities, which includes saving Labrys, of course. It's not that I don't believe you, but I don't think it's right to simply hand the burden over to someone I just met. I see. Sorry, this must be frustrating to you. No, don't misunderstand me. I have no objections. I admire your willingness. With the final battle awaiting ahead, perhaps it's best that the stronger of us two should be the one to proceed. I like the look in your eyes. I will test your resolve with my sword. I've won. I will move on. But first, I have something to ask you. You said that you want to save Labrys too, but you barely know her. She isn't human and has been through things that aren't easy to understand. What were you going to do for her when you found her? Nothing in particular, but I could have stood at her side at the very least. At her side?
You really do remind me of an old friend. I do? Yes. Though he's more than just a friend. I owe my life to him. Well then, I'll be going now. To save Labrys. Kujikawa, can you hear me? The Shadow is headed to the announcement room again. I've already picked up on her and got out. Also, I've managed to reach your friends. I was just talking to someone named Igus. I guess, can you hear me? I need you to keep Kujikawa safe. Understood. Understood. My, my. You've come. Sorry, but you're too late. You really helped me out, though. You were pretty hard on this girl, weren't you? I... I... Look me. We have a guest. This human seemed to take us back. She'll never understand how we feel. A typical human. Stop! Don't say anymore! Labrys. all about. Oh, of course. It would be a problem if she were destroyed while you were retrieving her. Huh? Retrieve? No. This has got nothing to do with me! How long are you gonna lie to yourself? It's about time you face reality. You want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you had to go through. Right? That's why we're in a school having a fighting tournament? You, you want to see, see close, close friends, friends fight, fight for their lives against, against each other. Because if they do that, then they might understand. You want to make them understand. That ain't true! But it didn't work. <laughs> Kirijo marched in here and spoiled your fun! It's alright then. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of everything from here. I'll destroy anyone who doesn't understand you and comes to get in your way. Just like you once did. No! No! That ain't what I want! You're... You're not me! That's right! I'm myself! I'm free! Even if I'm a misunderstood machine! I'll escape from all this! Gone berserk. 
But there should still be time. I'll make you settle down. What's with you, you hypocrite? The way you've been acting pisses me off! How can you be so kind to her? No matter what you do, it won't erase your sins! Fine! Since you're a Kirija, why not tell you exactly what your family did to me? What they made me do! Remember those spectating students? What did you think those human-shaped silhouettes were? Hmm? Those are shadows, too. Shadows of the prototypes you made her destroy! When they were destroyed, their information was transferred to the victor. What's left of their hearts remains deep inside Labras. That's right, they all had a soul! But because they never fully developed, their shadows helped her play school after they separated from her. Do you see? Those spectators you saw everywhere were her sisters she had to kill! At the Kirijo Group's orders! I haven't forgotten! I'll never let their memories or their pain go! I won't forgive anyone who tries to take my freedom! I acknowledge your anger and grief. Setting things right here is my way of atoning. This fight will release you from your curse once and for all. alone again? What am I saying? Of course I am. After all I've done? No. No one will lock you away ever again. Huh? I thought I had a firm grasp on things. But in the end, all I did was drive you into a corner. I'm sorry. Why? Why is Akirito apologizing to a machine? I mean, I... I hurt people. Dragged him into my own mess? I'm just like I was before. There ain't no reason to forgive me! That is solely your opinion. Huh? Kujikawa, can you hear me? Loud and clear! Is that... Rise-san? That's right. You've met her too, and... Tell the truth, I only saw you for a second, so I ain't really sure what's going on. Uh, but it seemed like you went through a lot. Anyway, hope things start looking up. It's way too simple. Can't you think of anything better to say? Hey, it ain't simple at all. I know damn well how tough it is to see a shadow come out of yourself. Yeah, 
We've all been through the same thing, so we'd suck pretty bad if we didn't forgive you. It cost me a lot of trouble, but it was still kind of fun. Kind of. What you saw wasn't the whole picture, right? That's just how our hearts are. I concur. None of us can cast stones after you've gone through the hardship of facing your shadow. That aside, I'm just glad you're okay. I was worried about you. I left you alone knowing you couldn't use a persona. Labrys, when you come back, we should talk. Senpai's right. And not just us. Sister? Can you hear me? I too would like to talk with you. There's something I'd like to tell you. You may know it already, but still... You are a machine, unlike us. That is undeniably true. There will be days to come when you are tormented by solitude and caged by your own weakness. But one thing will be very different. Starting today, you are not alone. Companionship is the greatest guide. In my mission here, I've come to be reminded of that. We hope to become that guide for you as well. If you're not alone, you can stand to face the most painful of truths. Face the truth. Get it now. I'm sorry I ignored you all this time. I was the one who left you all alone. me, after all. my persona. <laughs> Labrys and Karija san Welcome back, you guys.
Kaye-san, that's a bit impolite. It's hard enough restraining myself already. <laughs> you said restrain yourself. Um, well... I'm sorry I caused you guys trouble. I, I, um... Yeah, I want to talk to you about that. That Grand Prix was you, right? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't a half bad idea. Fighting to see who's the strongest man was awesome! Uh, what? Kanji's right, but you should have invited me too! Uh, sorry? Give you until you say, I really like you, you big bear of a man. All sexy like that! Guys, stop making it even worse. Sorry we're starting off like this. In any case, I'm really glad you're all right. I got you to thank for that. Great job, Mitsuru. And man, talk about a rowdy bunch of students. Still, they are kind. <gasps> Is something the matter? I'm not good at relying on others. My responsibilities are so heavy that I don't even think of trusting others with them. I've been told it before, but it never gets easy. Why not think of things more simply? Hmm. When something cannot be accomplished alone, there is no other choice but to trust in others to help. Good or bad, it is inevitable. Then why not accept it and move forward? You aren't alone either, after all. You're right. It's not difficult at all when put that way. It's just as I was saying about companionship being a guide. Was Labrys truly the mastermind here? Huh? What are you getting at? Why did Labrys choose them? Where did Labrys learn of them? Even we didn't know about them or about this world inside the TV. How did Labrys discover all this? Yeah, I can't explain it either. way to find out is to just ask her. Hey, Labrys! Akihiko.
When did you wake up? How did you find out about the TV world? About this place? Uh... Labrys! Get back! Is she malfunctioning? No! Someone's hijacked her! What? I know you're there. Who are you? Show yourself. Show, Show myself? myself. <laughs> How, How cold. cold. You, you treat, treat me as if I were a stranger. That voice! No way! Kirijo-san's shadow? <laughs> Do you Do not, not recognize, recognize your, your own, own face? face? I am you. You seem to have a penchant for deception. Unfortunately, I already know that you're the mastermind here. You were after Persona users from the start. That's why you chose this school and tampered with Labrys' memories. And you just demonstrated how you controlled those hijackers. <laughs> Very good. No wonder you managed to drive back a god once. <laughs> yes. I want them even more now. You want them? Explain yourself. Personas and shadows are one and the same. If, if I, I poison, poison your hearts, I, I can, can recruit, recruit shadows with unparalleled strength. Wait, what? You mean turn our personas back to shadows? The, the heart, heart is frail. Its, its weaknesses, weaknesses are, are never fully vanquished. Given, given the opportunity, opportunity, it can betray you and return to darkness. This one's desire to make people suffer was perfectly suited for such a plan. Plan? You caused all this to gather strong shadows? Who are you? Sadly, it seems things won't be going according to plan this time. But I'll make use of what tools I have to the very end. This is my last chance. No, more like a marvelous entertainment. Stand, my puppet. You bastard! This form is exhausted from constant battle and will be useless as an asset. But unless you destroy it, it will keep rising up and attacking you all. What will you do? Knock her out one more time. No, don't attack her. Further damage to Lavis could put her in danger. But, uh, come on! Uh, she's all over us! Ah! Now, may, may you suffer, suffer and curse your fate. Relinquish, relinquish your personas. Your personas.
Don't listen. Everyone concentrate on avoiding her attacks. But we can't do that forever. Just try and hang in there. Trust me. I trust in you. Everyone, we can take this much. Yosuke, you ready? Hell yeah, partner. Let's let Mitsuru-san do her thing. Akihiko, I guess. Back them up. You got it. No one will force my sister to hurt others ever again. <laughs> you best hurry and decide. Who will be destroyed? The shell or the lot of you? Sad to say, but... This show is over. What? Looks like you made it in the nick of time. You saved us, Yamagishi. Are you all okay? Fuka san! <laughs> so you had a third assistant. That voice. It's not coming from in here. Whoever it is is out there! Seriously? She can use hers in reality too? It's just as you thought, Mitsuru-senpai. The enemy is only mimicking your appearance. It's a fake. Very impressive to guess correctly from such a long distance away. So these are the limits of a half-broken puppet. Well, no matter. This was only ever for my own enjoyment. You despicable monster! I didn't expect you to fight back this hard, but didn't you have fun? You were all taken in by an illusion. This place, these traps, everything came from your own minds. You dread yourselves most of all. <laughs> A beautiful plan, wasn't it? Your idea of beauty is rather warped, as is your plan and your assessment of us. But your biggest mistake was that you took my form in the end. <laughs> Are you angry? All right, I'll play along. The show must go on, right? Don't say another word while wearing that face. I'll teach you just who it is you've made an enemy of!
You're mine now. Check. <laughs> this, this is fine with me. Good enough for my purposes that I confirmed you have enough power to meet my expectations. This is only a temporary form. I doubted there'd be any meaning in changing my appearance, but sure enough, it made for a very enjoyable game. All that irritates me is having to feign cooperation with that foolish human until I obtain the one true vessel. I will see you in another guise next time. Just wait until then. The real you will face the same consequences soon. Choose your last words carefully. <laughs> Yamagishi! The reading disappeared! It didn't move, it just vanished! What could this mean? <laughs> Back to square one again. Another guys, huh? Don't even think about coming around here again! What are we up against? Our enemy seems to be targeting Persona users. Don't worry about it. We'll handle things from here. Wait, but it kind of said it was still after us. Of course. You should be aware that the enemy is out there. Akihiko only means that there is no need to abandon your lives to pursue it. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. That is, after all, our duty. But... Guys, let's leave this to them. You can! Are you serious? They're right that we need to go back for now. We're all at our limit. until we get out of the TV! Dude, we were in the middle of a conversation. What are you doing with this ancient TV? Hang on, where'd you even get this? It's a Teddy Vision! You can get out from here! How's Labrys? There wasn't much damage to her motor functions. I don't believe it will take much time to repair her. Still, the stress on her cognitive functions must have been severe. It may take some time for her to awaken.
Here you go, Mitsuru-san. Ah, oh, thank you. We will be leaving Inaba tomorrow. Keep that in mind when making preparations. Understood. It's me, Fuka. Come in. I'm sorry I had to summon you on such short notice. Oh no, it's alright. I was on vacation too, after all. How is Labrys? She's still resting. There was a lot of stress on her, so we might have to carry her out. I see. I looked into the records. Labrys was built on a self-contradicting foundation. Self-contradicting? Unlike with Igis, when Labrys was being developed, no one had the know-how to create a personality from scratch. So, it seems like they took an actual girl's personality and used it as a base. A living girl. So that's why her heart is unexpectedly advanced. But if she had all of the original girl's memories, a contradiction would occur in her self-awareness. Normally, they'd make adjustments to prevent that, but even then, they couldn't guarantee it would be completely safe. That's why Labrys was loaded with a self-deceiving function, in case a conflict arose in her self-awareness. She was deceiving herself? Then the function that interfered with our perception? It was listed as meant for infiltration, but that was a technicality. Its true purpose was a safety mechanism. I think that should be okay now. Labrys! When did you get here? Sorry to sneak up on you. But after I faced my shadow and learned how to use my persona, it's hard to explain, but it felt like my emotions settled down. Actually, that may be what happened. Facing one shadow could be said to be correcting one's self-awareness. That must be it. Your developers came to the decision that it was an insurmountable problem, yet you overcame it. How do you feel? Does anything seem off? Oh no! You guys have treated me so well, I feel kind of guilty about it. My body's all fixed up too, so there shouldn't be any problems there. I see. I wanted to talk to you about where we go from here. From here? You mean, about me? Originally, we planned to take you back to the lab on Yakushima, but that was when we still thought of you as a mere object. Is that what you want to happen? Uh, what else is there? You could tell us what you yourself want. You do have a heart, just like us. Who knows, maybe you could even go to school eventually. Me? Go to school? Even I guess has been to school, and that was when she knew much less about the world than you know now. Thinking back to that time is, uh... It's rather embarrassing. Hmm.
school. It sounds great. But I feel like there's something I gotta do first. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's been my dream for a long time to go to school. But someone's after those guys. Someone's trying to wreck their lives. I want to catch whoever it is myself. I... I want to look after those guys. Security Department Shadow Response Unit would be glad to have you. Welcome to the team, Mavris. I get to work with you, sister. I guess that reminds me, I am your younger sister, but I am more experienced than you. This may be somewhat confusing. I'll give you a tour of the lab tomorrow. Make sure you're ready to write things down. Tomorrow? We're leaving Inaba already? I haven't even said goodbye. I can't leave without seeing him one more time. Oh, that's good to hear. It means you've made some friends. Friends. I guess get in contact with them by whatever means you deem necessary. Understood. Hmm. How should I contact them? I only know their names. Hmm. Yamagishi, your usual method should prove effective once again. Huh? Uh, but isn't that invading their privacy? Permission granted. Remember, we have official sanction to operate now. Look them up too! 